Yo, what's up mga kaibigan? This is I2K po again. Ngayon nandito ulit tayo sa channel ni Pinas News Insider. At dito ulit tayo magbibigay ng komento at reaksyon. Kaya sama nyo. O guys, let's go! Ngayong araw nakatakda ang bilateral meeting sa pagitan ni Napangulong Ferdinand Marcos Jr. at U.S. President Joe Biden sa Washington, D.C. na layong palakasin pa ang aliansa sa pagitan ng Pilipinas at Amerika. Bumiyahin na kahapon ang Pangulong Marcos patungong Estados Unidos para sa kanyang official visit kasama ang delegasyon ng Pilipinas. Bukod sa kanyang economic team, kasama din ang ilang mga negosyante ng bansa. Sa departure speech ng Pangulo, kanyang inihayag na mahalaga ang kanyang pulong kay U.S. President Biden na lalo pang magpapalakas sa ugnayan ng Pilipinas at Amerika. Bukod sa military enhancement, kasama rin ang business engagement sa agenda ng Pangulong Marcos. Una nang inihayag ng chief executive na may gusto itong ipabago sa business forces agreement at Mutual Defense Treaty ng Pilipinas at Amerika na ilang dekada na ang tanda. Ito ay sa gitna ng umiinit ng tensyon sa Taiwan at ilang kinakaharap na issue sa pinag-aagawang teritoryo sa West Philippine Sea. Ang mga pagbabago ay tatalakayin ng Pangulo sa pulong nila ni Biden. Inaasahan din na palakasin ng Maynila at Washington ang partnership sa semiconductor industry, critical minerals, renewable and clean energy, kambilang ang nuclear and infrastructure projects na magpapahusay sa ating digital at telecommunication system. Nakatakda din na makipagpulong ang Pangulo sa mga American business leaders para sa higit pang isulong ang mga oportunidad sa kalakalan at pamumuhunan sa Pilipinas. Sa mga gagawing roundtable meeting na ito, makakasama ng Pangulo ang kanyang economic team at pati na rin ang mga Filipino private sector leaders upang tuklasin ang mga business opportunities sa bansa na layong magpapalago sa ating ekonomiya. Habang nasa Washington, makikipagpulong din ang Pangulo sa Filipino community na patuloy na nag-aambag sa kaunlaran ito sana yung mga nilalabas na mga ano, no, mainstream media. No? Mga ganitong pangyayari na, gin, na ginagawa ng ating Pangulo. No? Hindi yung kung ano-ano yung mga pinapalabas na mga, pay, mga mainstream media. Di ba? ng ekonomiya ng bansa. Pakinggan natin ang pahayag ni Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos Jr. And more especially my meeting with President Joe Biden is essential to advancing our national interest and strengthening that very important alliance. During this visit, we will reaffirm our commitment to fostering our long-standing alliance as an instrument of peace and as a catalyst of development in the Asia-Pacific region and, for that matter, the rest of the world. I intend to convey to President Biden and his senior cabinet officials that the President is determined to forge an even stronger relationship with the United States in a wide range of areas that not only address concerns of our times, but also those that are critical to advancing our core interests. These areas include food security, agricultural productivity, development, and digital economy, energy security, climate change, cyber security, as well as ensuring our resilience from threats to our economy, including global supply chain disruptions and economic coercion. Bago umalis ng bansa ang Pangulo, tiniyak nito na kanyang tututukan ng pamahalaan ang kapakanan ng mga manggagawa at siniguro na prioridad ng kanyang administrasyon na protektahan ang mga manggagawa at patuloy na magbibigay ayuda sa mga ito. Kinilala naman ni Pangulong Marcos Jr. ang pagkikibaka ng sektor ng pagawa sa gitna ng mataas na inflation at krisis sa transportasyon. Sumalit, walang binanggit na pagtaas ng sahod sa kanyang unang talumpati sa araw ng paggawa kahapon. Pinangunahan ng Pangulo ang pagdiriwang ng ika-121 Labor Day na ginanap sa SMX Center sa Pasay City. Bago magsimula ang programa, tinignan ng Pangulo ang mga job, business at livelihood fairs na isinagawa para sa ating mga kababayan. Nakiisa din si Pangulong Marcos sa pagbabahagi ng tulong mula sa iba't ibang ahensya ng pamahalaan para sa mahigit 1,400 beneficiaries. Nagparafol din ang Pangulo ng limang house and lot kung saan lima sa mga beneficiaries ang nabigyan ng libreng bahay. Sa kabilang dako, inanunsyo naman ni Labor Secretary Bienvenido Laguesma ang pagbuo ng isang interagency committee na tututok sa long-standing labor issues ng bansa. Ito ay matapos aprubahan ng Pangulo ang isang executive order na layong tugunan at solusyonan ang mga complaints na nakasaad sa International Labor Organization high-level tripartite mission. Talagang, talagang sinalubo ang ating Pangulo sa US, ano?
President Marcos is going to be able to have a good meeting with, uh, mm -hmm. of course, President Biden. And uh, his main purpose is to be able to reaffirm our commitment to uh, peace and security in our region. At the same time, we're also looking at the United States as our major economic partner. And our main objective is to have more economic activity with uh, like-minded partners. Natin. Uh, of course, needless to say, sinabi naman ng Presidente, uh, he doesn't see a future without uh, the United States as an ally. So, importante sa kanya yan. And that's the reason why this second meeting is taking place. Kasi pinag-usapan nila, magkita ulit sila. Eh. Maraming mga uh, American businesses that are now really starting to start making that move that they said that, that they wanted to invest in the Philippines. And hopefully, we will have some uh, major investments coming in within this year. Well, ang pinakaunang-una talaga yung energy. No? Uh, sa atin, importante sa atin yan. Kasi in two years' time, our energy requirements is going to almost uh, be almost triple, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Kaya we have to fast-track yung ating mga energy requirements. The president is also going to be meeting with um, several major companies involved in healthcare. Yung Moderna, everybody uh, remembers Moderna and the role they played during the pandemic. A company that has uh, been producing uh, not only vaccines but other drugs. They are looking. They are actually coming into the Philippines already. They're going to be meeting with the president uh, in the, on this trip, and they're going to uh, uh, let him know about what their plans are in setting up. So healthcare, yano. Sa tourism naman, marami rin mga tumitingin na gusto nila mag-invest sa infrastructure yeah. uh, which will help our tourism. We have been waiting for this moment na makakapunta dito si Presidente sa Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. Dahil napaka-importante itong relationship natin sa Amerika. I've been here as an ambassador for quite some time and I have never seen so much excitement uh, not only from the people here, but mostly even the government officials of the United States, they really would like to get a chance to meet the president because uh, they see him as a progressive president. He's, they see him as somebody who knows the value of our relationship, the result of which will be it will be something that will redound to our country, our peace and security, economic security, and most important of all, economic prosperity for everyone. I leave now this afternoon for an official working visit to Washington, D.C., the first in more than 10 years by a Philippine president. My visit is an important one, as they all are, because they are part of our efforts to further reinforce our already strong bonds with the United States by bringing our alliance into the 21st century. This visit builds on the active exchanges we have had, particularly in the last couple of months which include my bilateral meeting with President Joseph Biden in New York last September, the visit to Manila of Vice President Kamala Harris last November, numerous visits by senior officials on both sides, as well as a 2 plus 2 ministerial meeting, which our Secretary for Foreign Affairs and Department of National Defense, OIC, attended barely three weeks ago. My visit to the United States, and more especially my meeting with President Joe Biden, is essential to advancing our national interest and strengthening that very important alliance. During this visit, we will reaffirm our commitment to fostering our long-standing alliance as an instrument of peace and as a catalyst of development in the Asia-Pacific region and, for that matter, the rest of the world. I intend to convey to President Biden and his senior cabinet officials that the president is determined to forge an even stronger relationship with the United States in a wide range of areas that not only address concerns of our times, but also those that are critical to advancing our core interests. Mm -hmm. These areas include food security, agricultural productivity, development, and digital economy, energy security, climate change, cyber security, as well as ensuring our resilience from threats to our economy, including global supply chain disruptions and economic coercion. Towards this end, one of my priorities for this visit is to push for greater economic engagement, particularly through trade and investment and science, technology, and innovation cooperation between the United States and the Philippines. I intend to speak and find opportunities in the semiconductor industry, critical minerals, renewable and clean energy, 
including nuclear and infrastructure projects that will improve our digital telecommunication systems and facilitate sustainability efforts to address climate change. As uh, with my visit to New York last year, I expect to meet with American business leaders to further promote trade and investment in the Philippines. The economic team and I shall be joined by key Filipino uh, private sector leaders in exploring business opportunities that would serve to grow our economy even more. While in Washington, I also look forward to meeting with our Filipino community who maintains strong ties to the Philippines despite being away for very many years but continue to contribute towards the country's economic prosperity. Thank you very much. Wish us all the best of luck. And uh, we will see you when we get back. Maraming salamat. Magandang hapon sa ito. At yun nga po mga kaibigan, dito po nagtatapos ang ating reaction video. Muli ako po si I2K. Maraming maraming salamat sa patuloy na pagsuporta. Yeah, peace out.